And we are back to break down a new episode of what? Dexter's New Blood. Dexter's New Blood. Everybody on Showtime. On Showtime. You got to subscribe to Showtime. That's where you're going to watch the new Dexter's, not the old ones, but the new school. So if you didn't watch, the, watch all the other episodes, it's time for you to get some Showtime in your life. Mm-hmm. And no, we're not sponsored by Showtimes, but Showtimes, give us a holla. <laughs> all right. So before we get started, make sure you smash that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. If you're brand new to our show, we mainly talk about Dexter lately. Also, well, it's a new season. It's new a new season. We're going to break episodes down. Episodes every week. We're going to break down every episode and give you our thoughts and opinions. In addition to that, we do movie box office predictions movie uh, box office results, and more. All right, so let's talk about Dexter New Blood Episode 3. So, Anna, uh, let the people know what are your thoughts. Break it down for us. You're going to help me, right? <laughs> Am I going to help you? Why are you looking at me? It's your show. Wait, <laughs> but then you like it. I do like it, but, okay, really, well, but uh, I'm here to support mm-hmm. you in this. Basically, Dexter... If you've seen the shows before, he um, he grew up killing people, but he was taught by his stepdad to kill the the right people, meaning the people that would be doing bad things, killers, whatever they were. Um, he would kill those type of people, uh, and he hasn't done it for so long that. Um, you know, his temptation was strong and he ended up killing this one popular kid, right? He's younger yeah. than him, right? Yeah, some popular kid with a lot of money that people know. Basically, he was extremely sloppy. Yeah, and um, because of this mistake, like, um, the dad knows that he's not, he's not gone, that he's still somewhere here or something's wrong, you know? So then they go further into the investigation and they get the what are see it csi uh, forensic forensic um, yeah. yeah forensic guy and he gets a forensic guy and the guy actually he he looks kind of sloppy like he's falling apart like he's trying to grab every all his equipment because he's a solo man and he's like looking getting his stuff and he's like oh yeah this guy's not gonna know how to do it like he was all getting confident and then eventually, like, he starts going through the scenario and, like, getting the evidence. And he's like, wait a minute. He's actually, he actually knows what he's doing. <laughs> Pretty much. I thought that was, like, one of the best parts of this. Actually, I liked the whole episode, but that was one of the better parts of the episode where he's like, oh, I'm about to get away with it. But no, this guy just, he's calling all the shots, making all the right decisions, finding out that there's a rock missing here, you know, it, mm-hmm. everything just turned out bad for Dexter. Right? <laughs> He's like, but I like how he was like, oh yeah, he, he don't know any better. <laughs> yeah, and that definitely turned out wrong for him. Um, so hopefully, you know, some good news is going to help have him for him. Like, he's definitely trying to hide the body, but also uh, one thing I've noticed with the Dexter episodes, you know, these 10, 10 episode cores typically, there's always this other serial killer, mm-hmm. and they're kind of hinting towards that there's another killer mm-hmm. in a mix. And my prediction is, I think they're going to use that serial killer where Dexter's going to pawn off the body to the serial killer, mm-hmm. or at least uh, blame the serial killer for the murder of the missing guy. Yeah. The missing rich kid that names eludes us and stuff. So mm-hmm. I think that's going to be interesting there. Um, I love Harrison. I think Harrison's like the super good kid, uh, super smart, intelligent. So we'll see what happens there. But yeah, go ahead, Adam, break it, break it down some more for the people. Mm. Well, the kid kind of gives me a weird vibe. Like he's different from his dad, but he is kind of he has that psycho feeling going on because the way he grabbed that kid from the neck, he looked like he was gonna kill him. <laughs> Well, he was raised by a bunch of psychos, so you mm. can't expect nothing, you know, can't expect yeah. nothing more from a psycho, right? But I'm just trying to figure out what he did during that time that he was by himself, like, how bad is his record kind of thing, you know? Mm-hmm. I think it's bad, but it's not going to be too bad. I think he's overall going to be, I would like to see what he's going to do when he finds out, you know, his dad is an actual killer, you know? Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's something to look. I'm looking forward to like to see what how that's gonna pan out for both of them. Um, but they do kind of have like a little, you know, he has like a little trouble at school, and then he didn't like the dad. You know, Dexter didn't want to like. He didn't side it on his side. He didn't go with like he didn't. How do I say it? He didn't side with his own son. At the end of the day, if I was uh, the son, if I was Dexter, I'm like, look, man. Uh, actually, that's not even his name. What, what, what is his name in this season? Dexter. No, what's it? It's yeah. Jim. Jim. Yeah, if I was Jim, I'd be like, look, man, don't call me in the middle of my me trying to cover up my mistakes on some BS. Because she's gonna the, the principal calls him into the school saying. The son may have cheated because he's too smart, but we don't know because the teacher walked out of the class. I'm like, look, man, if you did faulty work, don't blame me for it. That's your mistake. Mm -hmm. Uh, My son didn't cheat. Yeah. But, like, you know, he never really raised him, and he was just being very, like, like, he was just like, let me get out of here. Like, just do it. Just take the test. Like, <laughs> he just wanted to get... He's always... He always does that, though. He he wants to be part of his... Like, he's like, let me do all... Get rid of all of this, and then I'll make some time for my son. And when he really needs him, he, he doesn't do it. Like, he always ends up doing it, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And, and, um, and then the son tells him, hey, you know, you should have had my back. Like, he's not like Dexter, like, puts it off to the side until eventually somebody pokes at him and tells him, hey, that wasn't okay. But he just straight up told him, like, I didn't like that. You should have been on my side. And then uh, he's like, oh, well, from now on, I'm going to be on your side. And then you see that bonding between them. And he's all like, thanks, Dad. He's like, wow. (laughs) Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, okay, this is how it feels. Because he hasn't had family in a while, so. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's going to be good, man. I'm excited for the next episode. Uh, I'm hoping Dexter, like always, gets away with murder, which is kind of <laughs> like you don't, want, you don't yeah. want a psycho to get away with murder. But, you know, as of right now, he's killing bad guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's kind of like the punisher of the of the Showtime space. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, oh, hopefully, you know. I kind of like want it to be a happy ending. It might not be. Um, but it's something to look forward to, to see how it p- pans out for him and for his son, you know? Yeah, definitely. Cause you know, when you look at his son, man, um, you know, the last season of the Dexter, the original series, it just kind of ended like, man, that kind of sucked. Like it was almost on the way to a happy ending. And at the end of the day, man, you know, life is already crazy. Mm-hmm. When we watch our fantasy movies, sometimes we just want to end up in a happy note, mm-hmm. get us there in a happy way. So uh, I would like to end this series hopefully on a on an upbeat, mm-hmm. but I want us to have some rocky roads, twists and I mean, turns. I mean, I do feel kind of like, you know, a little anxiety when he, <laughs> he almost gets caught by the, the people. I still feel that feeling whenever I see an episode. It's like, oh, they're going to catch him. It was so close. <laughs> mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. yeah, you know. I want to see how he figures how to, like, fix his problem, basically. Pretty much, pretty mm-hmm. much. So it'll be interesting to see. Mm-hmm. But I think that's all for us. Anything you else want to add? No. I think we're good to go. So hit them with the what? Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Let us know what you think of this episode. Do you like it better than the last season's? Yes, and let us know if you're watching it. Until next time, everybody, have a good one. Peace. Peace.